Hi, this is Marina from Fox and Frolix, and I'm going to show you how to sandwich in the front and the back of a blouse or shirt into a yoke. The easiest way to put in your yoke is to put it exactly in front of you as you want to sew it as well so that you don't get confused. We won't need the lining yet, that's the white fabric you can see here. We can put that one away for now, but we have got our yoke on top of the front piece that we're gonna sew it to as well. So away with the lining and then I flip over the edge and I put them on top of each other and I start on one side here and put that on top. Make sure that where the seam allowance is, the fabrics are on top of each other. That's really important to get a good edge afterwards and a straight edge at the front, especially. On the other side, the yoke will sit a little bit over. Again, you need to keep to that one centimeter seam allowance. In this area here, it's a little bit tight. So what you can do is snip it a bit. You can put two snips in as well. That doesn't really matter. Just you know, just to release the tension a little bit. And then very much like we would do when we put in a sleeve, we round the fabric of the yoke into the front piece. And that works very nicely here. It goes in very smoothly. As you can see here, I can put another snip in. A little bit more release, perfect. Have a look what it looks like. It needs to be very straight at the front here. That's important because that's, uh, you know, where we're gonna put our placket on and we want that to be very straight. Now I do the other side exactly the same. I flip over my fabric. I make sure that the seam allowances sit on top of each other so that we don't have one sitting further over so that it's not quite straight down the front. The best thing is to put a pin in and then flip it over and see if it actually sits straight or not. And if it's not, well, then you move it over a little bit. But as long as the seam allowances are on top of each other and the fabric ends exactly on that point, you'd be absolutely fine. And here on the other side, you will see that the front piece sticks over a little bit. There we are, I snipped that side as well. Great. And we do the same again. We round the fabric into that slightly round curve and we get a beautiful result as you can see here. Now the next thing we have to do is to put the back on and that's super easy. So pick up your back piece. Right sides go together here. And again, make sure that the seam allowances sit on top of each other in that corner point. Very important. You can see here that the back piece um, seems to be a little bit further over. Yeah, so that at the seam allowance point, they sit right on top of each other. Do the same on the other side. Now, if you don't get that quite right at the back, it's not so important. Um, at the front, it's very important here. Oh, well, you know, it's so little. It does, wouldn't really matter if you got it not quite right. We're going to sew this together with a seam allowance of foot width only because when we sew our lining on, we're then going to use one centimeter seam allowance so we cover this stitch line and we make sure there's no stitch line showing by accident afterwards. So just foot width along. Now it gets interesting where we're going to do the curve, but because we've uh, snipped it, it's actually really simple. Now 
Now check first whether you have that straight front there and everything lines up. Um, you can also trim that little bit off there if you like. Then you want to flip over your front so the wrong sides are now showing up. Take your lining and put your lining down with the right side facing up. So we're now going to pin together the right side to the wrong side. There we go. It's easier, of course, to also pin it from the side where you've already sewn. So I'm just gonna put one pin in here and then I'm going to swap it over. There we go. There we are. Just turn it over and pin from the side that you've already got the stitching line on. And again, we're sewing that with one centimeter seam allowance. So we'll always be a little bit to the left of that stitching line that we've already got. Do the same as we did before. Make sure that the seam allowances sit on top of each other and pin it in. And of course, you could also here release the tension by snipping in that curve. That's absolutely fine as well. Now, whether you cut one snip or two snips doesn't really matter. Just make sure that you don't cut further than what your seam will be. Now, that would be a little bit of a disaster, right? No, that we don't want to do. And then we're going to pin the other side as well. So it's nice and flat. And now we can go over to the sewing machine and we're going to sew those two seams in before we do the back. And now we're going to sew with the one centimeter seam allowance or the three eighths of an inch. And that means our stitch will sit right next to this one on the inside and that will give us a perfect finish. Always make sure everything is nice and flat. Now we just want to check that everything we've sewn has actually come out really well. That's kind of important here because, um, you know, you don't want to find that you've caught something and it's not perfect and then you cut back your seams and you have to open something back up. That's not very good. And I'm cutting back in stages. That's always nicer. It always lies a little bit flatter. Now all we have to do is sew in our lining here for the back. Now this is where I'm going to show you a little trick. And I think if you've watched my videos, you've already seen it. Some people search this together, don't do that. Like grab your lining here, turn it so that you can have the right side facing the underside again, like that. And then we're just gonna pull it through so that when we have it sewn together, it gives you a beautiful finish just like that. So all we have to do now is literally, once you've got the first pin in, don't be worried about a thing. You'll just pull it, keep pulling this through and it will look really twisted. And that's how it needs to look. That's correct. So we just do this here. Ah, where's my end? There we go. There we are, pulled it all out. And now I can just pin this all the way along to the other side like that. And then we're gonna go and sew this together. And then obviously that will give you a perfect finish. One centimeter seam allowance.
all you have to do then is to pull it through and you get this beautiful result. It's really quite simple. And then I can press this and you can also top stitch this. And as if by magic, I have top stitched it and ironed it. And as you can see here, I did a double line like a twin needle. Um, and it looks really, really nice. And I have to say, when I don't film myself and I can get in front of my machine, it's so much easier to keep this nice and straight. I think this is really lovely. I did the same as well on the back. And that really concludes it. So this is how you do the yoke with the lining. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you enjoyed what you saw. Bye. See you next time.